and welcome to a brand new edition of Inside the PGTI. This week we are coming to you from the Garden City of India, which staged the Tata Steel PGTI's Indo Mim Presents Bangalore Open Golf Championship 2019, powered by Karnataka Tourism. The second fastest growing metropolis of India. The tech city of Bengaluru allures with its picturesque gardens and equanimous weather. The Tata Steel Professional Golf Tour of India organized the championship, the penultimate of the season, with a prize purse of 40 lakh rupees. The event held at the Karnataka Golf Association course was supported by presenting partner Indo Mim and powered by partner Karnataka Tourism. It had Amrutanjan Frutnik as its official rehydration partner and Vion as its news partner. An accomplished amateur golfer and a past captain and president of the KGA, Mr. Sumit Rathore as a representative of the presenting partner Indomim expressed his delight at the association between Indomim and PGTI Indomim is the world's number one metal injection molding company we are high precision engineering company and it's a very very good fit with golf you know we want more people coming out of uh, this tour like that so it's not important for the top players to participate in the tour we want to encourage people who have the talent so i think pgti is doing a fantastic job with that with the bangalore open determining the players who would make it to the elite field of pgti's top 60 at the season ending tata steel tour championship in jamshedpur an extra dimension was imparted to the event the race was on for the top spots in the tata steel pgti order of merit Every tournament is important but last 3 or 4 events they are really important because you have to improve your ranking in order to get the points and you you want to be higher in the ranking. Yeah, I mean this is an important tournament for uh, everyone who's playing this week because you know next next uh, week is our top 60 only tournament where you know only the top 60 get to play. So uh, I mean uh, for a lot of people who are close to that bubble it's an important tournament. The tournament into its third edition boasted of a top notch field. Some of the prominent Indian professionals featuring in the event included Bengaluru's Rahil Gangji, former champion Udayan Mane, Hani Besoya and Karan Deep Kocha. The championship had an imposing local presence as besides Rahil Gangji, Bengaluru found representation in M Dharma, Syed Saqib Ahmed and Simon Yappa. The foreign challenge was led by the Sri Lankan duo of defending champion Anura Rohana and Mithun Pereira along with Bangladesh's Mohammad Zamal Hossain Molla. It's a very good field here. Rahil is also playing here. He's playing on the Japan and Asian tour. He's a very good player. So I think the field is very good here. KGA's professionally managed 7219 yard par 72 course stands out for its world class fairways and greens. Undoubtedly KGA is the best golf course in India for me. It's uh, you know pristine maintained very very well challenging golf course is in immaculate condition. It's playing so good. Greens are pure and uh, fairways are perfect. So uh, and the only factor here is wind so you'll have to you know keep it in play. Apart from that I think it's going to be a very fair challenge and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. KGA is a great venue. We always look forward to coming here because it offers us uh, uh, wonderful conditions. As you can see, like today we picked the practice round, and uh, the course is in fabulous condition. The fairways are soft, the greens are slick. So, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a fabulous week we're looking forward to. The multiple water hazards and prevailing winds further compound the challenge. Wind is a key factor here because uh, whenever it is overcast, it, uh, the wind really blows uh, here. So uh, uh, because uh, you know the grass is very different, so you have to select your clubs very. Uh, you have to do your yardage perfectly. So I think I think uh, whoever can gauge the wind uh, uh, probably is going to hit more greens, and uh, then even putting on these greens is not very easy. So overall, you have to be on top of your game uh, to uh, tackle this course. So seventh and ninth are good, good par fours. Then on the finishing stretch, sixteenth uh, 
is a good good uh, tight driving hole and you know apart from that this this uh, golf course if you hit it if, if you hit it uh, straight you have a lot of scoring holes also so uh, i mean key from for everyone this week would be to play from the fairway at the karnataka golf association the emphasis is on continuity and its holistic junior development program serves to underline that we have a excellent junior program which we started and now uh, rahil and bambi are doing a fantastic job with that and we have like the players like uh, trishul and we have akshay niranjan and we have aryan who are doing so well they are all products of uh, the system you know and i'm sure we are going to get a lot of very good players coming out of the system we have our own academy where a hundred of kids on the skills our uh, mentor is a, a bring pro a pro or the sir hail ganji the first of kind in india and we have bambi randa who is a renowned coach and uh, everyone is happy with the because and whatever uh, maybe the uh, club or course uh, if you don't have a junior program running it is difficult to carry on with the game it's difficult to take the game for the next to the next level driving kga is the quest for excellence on all fronts with the course having received multiple nominations for being one of the top in asia the contenders looked all geared up to bring out their a game on it bengaluru's rahil gangji delhi's kapil kumar and gurugram's abhishek kuhar's identical rounds of 468 earned them a joint standing at the fourth position Five time winner on the PGTI Mao's Om Prakash Chauhan enjoyed a bogey free run or route his score of 5 under 67 He exhibited precise ball striking to set up three of his birdies within 5 feet of the flag An A category teaching professional Arun Kumar too returned with an error free round while riding on the momentum of a red hot season Chandigarh's Karandeep Kocha produced an eagle and four birdies to negate his solitary bogey. Thus sharing the lead at the conclusion of the first round was the trio of Chauhan, Kocha and Kumar. It was a good round. It was a little windy out there, uh, but I played well, uh, especially I think the eagle on the first hole got my round going. I started off the 10th, so I made my first birdie in the 17th hole. Uh, all passed till then, then I made an eagle on the first hole, so that got my round going. Um, I played well. Just made one bogey. Uh, that was like just hit a bad shot. Um, but yeah, I think overall I played really well, and it's a good way to start the week, you know. Uh, five under, so happy about that. With a neck-to-neck -neck battle having ensured in the opening round, the leaderboard stood to bear testimony to it. note it's time for us to head into our first break on the show on the other side we have local lad trishul chenappa acquainting us with his golfing journey Welcome back to Inside the PGTI. After a closely contested first round, a sense of anticipation hovered over the build up to the second round, the end of which was to see the application of the cut. A tally of 8 under 136 helped Bengaluru's Rahil Gangji and Chandigarh's Karandeep Kocha to the fourth spot. The round bore witness to the surge of local lad Trishul Chenappa. Having started slowly, Trishul went on a birdie spree from the 15th to the 18th. The 26-year-old collected four more birdies on the front nine to produce a round of 65.
Greater Noida's Sudhir Sharma too registered a leap of 14 places with his bogey free 65. Trishul and Sudhir battling to save their PGTI cards accumulated a total of 9 under 135 and were joined at the halfway lead by Delhi's Kapil Kumar. Kapil's 67 was owing to his precise approach and wedge shots. He also made the most of his chances on the green. I did feel uh, a little um, nervous on, on the back stretch because I just made four birdies. Uh, I didn't think I would be, be at that score just four holes ago. So I'll uh, of course take the round uh, and uh, really looking forward to what I can make of the next couple of days. At the other end of the spectrum, the cut was declared at 2 over 146. 53 professionals and two amateurs made the cut. Among those missing the cut was the joint round one leader, Arun Kumar. Having created ripples with his exploits on the amateur circuit, Bengaluru's Trishul Chenappa took the decision to turn pro in 2015. However, the transition was far from seamless, with varied challenges coming his way. Pro golf initially was, was fun because I was getting to make some money as well. But I think I was carried away in terms of uh, what I was really playing for. Uh, while I was, uh, as opposed to when I, was, when I used to play amateur golf and it was just playing for, uh, playing for the love of it and playing, for, uh, playing as well as I could and playing to win. And I'm grateful that I've been able to understand and see it in that light today. While the fear of failure is a topic much harped upon in sports, Trishul provides insight upon the fear of success. As much as all of us fear the bad, uh, I have to admit that there have been times where I've feared winning as well. Um, I've feared uh, being out of the block, being out there alone and uh, having to stand completely out of, out of everyone. It has definitely made me not, not give it my all and I'm not really happy about uh, those, those times. Today, I just want to be able to play as freely as I can and I truly believe that uh, winning will take care of itself. Not the one to leave anything to chance, Trishul ensured that he was armed with professionals in his support team, even before taking the pro plunge. All in all, my team does comprise of my coach, who's been, uh, my coach Tarun, who's been uh, my coach for over a decade now. Um, and uh, we work alongside with the strength and conditioning team. Uh, I work with a nutritionist, uh, Ryan Fernando. And, uh, and yeah, I think my family is, is also a huge part of my support uh, system. Deriving comfort in the support of those he calls his own, Trishul maintains a reasonable distance from the virtual world. I guess I've just chosen my distractions, uh, I wouldn't say I've shunned out uh, everything. I am on social media, I just am not actively trying to be someone uh, out there. Uh, I feel like what's really helped me is uh, utilize that time, uh, at least just to be with the people uh, that I am with and not, uh, not in, in another world. Again, I don't think it's, uh, there is right and wrong, uh, there are many, many Many people on social media who are very active and who lead very complete lives as well. I think it's just something that works for me. With the perspective imparted by tough experiences, a rejuvenated Trishul has shunned all entrapments to play for the pure love of the sport. However, Trishul had to remain satisfied with the fourth spot which he shared with another overnight leader, Sudhir Sharma, and Lucknow's Sanjeev Kumar at 8 under 208. Having returned with 9 under 207, Bangaluru's Rahil Gangji 
and Faridabad-based Abhinav Lohan settled at the second position. Rahil's round featured five birdies and four bogeys, while Abhinav neutralized his two bogeys with four birdies. The pole position was claimed by Chandigarh's Karandeep Kocha, who acquired a two-shot lead at 11 under 205. Looking for his first title since turning professional, Karandeep produced a steady round of 3 under 69. The 20-year-old began well with long birdie conversions on the second and fifth, surmounting trouble with his tee shots on both the holes. Though he stuttered in between, but made up for that with two long birdie putts on the 16th and 18th. Out of the first three days, I think today was the toughest. Uh, it was blowing a lot more and it was really gusty. I mean, the wind would just come up in your face. And I think I handled myself pretty well out there. Uh, made a little mistakes, like a couple of mistakes on the 13th and the 15th hole, the part threes. Made bogeys there. But I think I finished well with two birdies in the last three holes, 16th and 18th. Um, yeah, but I think I've, I've been driving it really well and that's been really important for me. And more than that, I think I've been putting really well. The leaderboard highlighted what had been an overall impressive show by the Bangaloreans, with four of them in the top ten. So then, we'll nip into one final break here on the show. On the other side, we trace the golfing trajectory of the seasoned Rahil Gangji, who now spends most of his year playing in Japan. Welcome back. Having earned a card on the Japan Golf Tour as a reward for his 2018 Panasonic Open Golf Championship title in Japan, Rahil Gangji now plays most of his golf in the land of the rising sun. The golf courses in Japan though present their own peculiar challenges. One is the design of the golf course and uh, number two is the grass that is on the greens of the golf courses we play. We, uh, we play golf courses which are a little longer than the ones which are in India and the Japanese are not shy to turn a par 5 into a par 4. So you know there's a different, uh, totally different way to approach that. Because the greens are faster, they, they, you want to play the ball, keep the ball under the hole so that we have uphill putts, slower putts. Applying one's trade in another country, one also gets exposed to linguistic difficulties. But Rahil is familiar with the trick to navigate through it. Sign language, hands are going all over the place. That, that kind of helps. But I think the most thing, most uh, important thing is that Google Translate is there on, on phones now, so that really, really helps. While the result-oriented sporting environment places undue emphasis on winning, very little attention is paid on training the sports person to deal with victory. In 2004, when I won my first event on the Asian Tour, it was um, a big thing for me to have won. It was something that I've always wanted. But nobody has taught me how to handle a win. Nobody has taught me how to keep my expectations in check. I had to learn on my own and it took a really, really long time. Having himself learnt things the harder way, Rahil, as a part of KGA's junior development program, ensures that the learning is quicker in the case of youngsters coming up the ranks. If you listen, you learn it quicker and then you can apply it faster and then you'll do better faster. The, the whole idea is to do better faster these days. The, champ, the champions are becoming champions at a younger age nowadays and you have to, you have to roll with it. I hope I can uh, provide some sort of help to them. Being a local lad, Rahil possesses the advantage of being familiar with every nook and corner of the course. I've been here for the last 3-4 years now 
I played this course quite a bit and um, of course home is just like 20 minutes from here. At home, literally and figuratively, Rahil has his vast reservoir of experience to dig into with the Bangalore Open looking set for a close finish. Teenaged local amateur Akshay Niranjan, featuring in only his second professional event, gave an impressive account of himself with his tied fifth place finish at 9 under 279 along with Mao's Om Prakash Chauhan. Bengaluru's Rahil Gangji continued with his consistent display to secure the fourth position at 10 under 278. Meanwhile, fellow Bangalorean M. Dharma shot the best round of the day, a 67, to seal the third spot at 11 under 277. Overnight leader Karandeep Kocha got pegged back by his early bogeys on the third and fifth and a double bogey on the sixth where he found the water. He rekindled his hopes with birdies on the 10th and 13th. Meanwhile, Faridabad-based Abhinav Lohan made a steady start, but then stepped on the gas pedal, collecting birdies on the 5th, 7th, 8th and 9th, with the only blemish in between being a bogey on the 6th. He carried the momentum to the back 9, with three consecutive birdies on the 12th, 13th and 14th, where he made two 20-feet conversions. With his putter obeying his command, Abhinav stretched his lead to a massive five shots after the 14th. But injecting life back into the contest was a late twist. Lohan hit an erratic tee shot and followed it up with a three putt on the 16th to drop a double bogey. On the other hand, Lohan's closest rival, Karandeep Kocha, birdied the 15th to get within two shots of the lead. Lohan looked jittery on the 17th too, but managed to cling on to his two-shot lead with a par. Though Karandeep responded to the faint hope with a birdie on the 18th, his round of 71 could only earn him the runner-up spot at 12 under 276. The 30-year-old Abhinav Lohan held his nerve to secure a par on the last hole to seal the Indo Mim Presents Bangalore Open Golf Championship 2019 powered by Karnataka Tourism with a narrow one-shot margin at 13 under 275. I'm just relieved to have won my first tournament. It took a while, it took me eight years to win my first event. I was, I've, you know, come close uh, a lot of occasions. And I was definitely nervous today on the last three holes, but I'm glad I got the job done. Happy that I had a cushion. So uh, I could handle some nervous energy because I had a cushion. So I'm just happy. A glance at the leaderboard and one would be convinced of how closely contested the tournament was. Lohan's breakthrough win on the Tata Steel PGTI made him richer by Rs. 6,46,600 and catapulted him from 43rd to 19th position in the PGTI rankings. That's all that we have for you in this episode. As we bid goodbye, we leave you to savor the memorable moments from Abhinav Lohan's Bangalore Open 2019 triumph.